Welcome to the first episode of Adam Talks Movies here on Adam Does Movies, unless it eventually goes to a podcast service of sorts. We'll see how this goes. I'm here with my buddy Chase. If you want to say hi, you you're welcome to. I'm Chase. Hi. We can talk louder than <laughs> okay, that. This yeah. is yeah. This is a. This mic's not that good. Oh, okay. Um, to, you know, we're we're kind of uh, on the seat of our pants here. We're trying this thing out. We'll see how it goes. I've had a lot of, I guess, suggestions over the years to do a podcast. I had a really, really bad one for a while where I did it in my car because I had a 45-minute commute to work every day. So I just turned on my phone and just it was talking. just sitting next to me. Yeah, <laughs> just the musings. This will be a little bit more formatted, hopefully a little bit more structured, and we'll just see how it goes. Since Star Wars is only days away, I thought it'd be fun to kind of reminisce on my history with the franchise, rank uh, the Star Wars series so far, and uh, read some comments from people on Patreon and on uh, the YouTube Join member tab, and uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. So with that said, let's start with the first topic, which is the history of the franchise. Chase, I'm a bit older than you. I don't know if you know that slightly, um, but I still wasn't old enough to see the first trilogy in theaters. Mm-hmm. In fact, I didn't see A New Hope until probably uh, it was like seven or eight. And I was wowed by it. I thought everything was awesome. I didn't nitpick the crap out of it like we do nowadays with films. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's things that make absolutely no sense. Like, why didn't they shoot the the, the jettisoned pod right away? <laughs> like, there's no life forms on this pod that's yeah. just, you know, mysteriously shot itself out into space. Darth Vader's like, eh, let's we'll let it go. Uh, no, you didn't think about that stuff. Instead, it was more... Holy crap, there's space battles, there's droids, there's, you know, lightsaber battles, there's force users, and it, it just blew my, my mind. And nothing like that existed before. Well, I think what we have to remember, too, is that, like, the special effects back then, even, like, yeah. obviously they're not up to today's standards, but, like, just back then they were mind-blowing. Like, uh, I'm totally blanking. What's that called? The thing that, like, goes across that they drive in the, like... In oh, the I don't desert. know. I don't know the names of anything. Right? Yeah. Neither do I, but... So like that, that we we should put that caveat on there. I don't think either of us are hardcore no. Star Wars fans. We're just movie fans, mm-hmm. and we thought it'd be fun to just talk about Star Wars today. Yeah. No, I don't know what that thing. Is. The Land Cruiser, maybe. Speed. He, no. The thing, this thing, thing, the thing where he he snipes Lose. womp wha- womp rats out of his yeah, his and then he's, he's driving with Obi Wan. These are not the droids you're looking for. Yeah, there's um. This, the effects have come, obviously come a long ways, but the mm-hmm. story is what it's all about, which we'll get into later on. Uh, I never liked the prequels, but I, I first want to talk about the, the original trilogy. So the, the first movie I loved, Empire, you know, being a seven or eight year old kid, I, I wasn't like blown away by anything in Empire. Mm-hmm. I thought it was cool. I thought the, the ice battle on Hoth was fantastic. But I was into the la- I was into the Return of the Jedi. That's yeah. where I like to live because the, the stupid Ewoks and uh, the Battle of Endor and um, you know basically just retreading the first movie over again with a second Death Star. Yeah. That that that's where my money was at. Growing up now and just rewatching them recently, that's a pretty bad movie. I mean, I'm I'm actually kind of shocked at how how. Well, especially with the special editions by Lucas, I'm yeah. completely floored by how bad they are now. Empire's still fantastic. A New Hope I still really like. But yeah, Return of the Jedi just... It, it's kind of a mess. You know, especially with the musical number added in with the CG <laughs> character. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the retread of the plot. And, and then that brings us obviously to the later films in the saga by J.J. Abrams. But you, uh, you know, you're a generation behind me. So you, yeah. you grew up with the prequels, I would assume. Yeah. That. Take me through that experience. Where did you start in Star Wars? So, yeah, I, I started... Uh, actually, I don't think I saw The Phantom Menace, the first Star Wars movie. I think the first Star Wars movie that I saw was... Well, you don't need to still. Yeah. I think I think I saw... Uh, gosh, what's the second one in that? That's totally the blanking. Attack of the Clones. Yeah, Attack, Attack of, the, of the, clones. the Clones. That's what it is. That was the first one that I saw. And I remember it, like... I don't even know. It, it was... I thought Anakin was the shit. I thought he was the best thing ever. I don't really? know why. Yeah, I okay. don't know why that. And to this day, still for some reason, I I tend to like Anakin almost a little bit more than Luke. Still okay. to this day, just because like that's 
that just it's my own bias that's like what i grew up with you know well yeah you you yeah. once again you're you're a kid you're not mm-hmm. paying attention to the cringy dialogue right, yeah. and the, the bizarre love story mm-hmm. that really doesn't make any sense how anybody no. could fall for him yeah although he does have the cool scar on the eye <laughs> And then, so it, it's weird because I, I remember going over to like my cousin's house and he was super into Star Wars. And so that's all we would watch would be like the prequels all the time. And so like that, <laughs> that was where I was at. I'd be just fine with the prequels. And then I found out there's more. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, oh, so you had oh, no idea. No, you had not, no idea. not at all. Which is amazing because my dad, he's a, he's a diehard Star Wars fan. And so like he, back in, I don't even know when they did these, but like Pepsi had some sort of uh advertisement where they had the pepsi uh the characters on pepsi cans and stuff okay and so he he bought all the cans never opened them he just bought them for it just worth worth money and valuable absolutely and so he never opened them but there's no popping them now actually i guess they're all evaporated or something somehow wow yeah and so he has like just uh i think that's where like i really get my like collecting type thing from because he uh he has all, a bunch of like Star Wars figurines and everything. Mm-hmm. Like he has the his little Millennium Falcon, like the big, huge size one. He has sure. the uh, some of the original movie posters. He actually has one of them that has like a a, a misdated uh, poster on there. So so I, you collect that stuff too? My dad does. Oh, okay. I think that's where I get it from. But you, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That if you get it yeah. from him, then you you collect some stuff. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Well, movie posters, just little stuff like that. I don't collect me, shit. But... <laughs> In fact, I don't even like having. Blu-rays or DVDs anymore. Oh, pro- I love having. The, well, the problem I have with it is, like, I'm a completionist, yeah. and movies now more than ever have shown us that they're never going to be done. Mm-hmm. Making sequels, no. prequels, all that stuff. Yeah. And the other thing is, the production houses, the print companies that make these, mm-hmm. often change during the run. Yeah. So I'll have like four or five DVDs that the spines all line up yeah. and look beautiful, and then <laughs> somewhere along the line, some other J hole takes over. <laughs> And I don't even know what J-hole was supposed to mean. Jack-hole? I, I, I think was, so. I was trying to censor myself, <laughs> trying to keep it clean, and yeah, that's where we ended up. But the, the spine changes, and the graphics are different, and it's like, what am I doing anymore? Yeah. You know, I have the Mission Impossible Blu-ray set. I think it has the first five or six, but there's two more being made. Yeah. And so now what am I going to do with that? What's that going to look like? <laughs> no, no, I'm all digital now. All digital. Uh, but getting back on topic, so what, what, as a kid, what did you think? Did you like the prequels more or less than the original? And what kind of a jarring experience was that? I, I liked them a, a lot more, to be honest. I thought, the prequels? Yeah, yeah I, I'm sure. I, well, it's just the effects and everything. Yeah. Like, they're the more new age, obviously. And so, I don't know, I just, I almost found, and I'm sure I'll probably like just to get destroyed, I almost found like the original ones boring. Hmm. Just no, I, I can from, see. from being a kid, you know? Well. And, just, and not knowing like what I know now. I could see that. From the second two prequels, but the yeah. first one, well, Phantom Menace. I, I never really saw the first one. Hey, so you still really haven't seen it? No, I mean I have obviously, but because that movie is kind of a chore to watch. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't really care much for that one. The tax but. trades and the the blockades and all that stuff. Just what every kid wants to watch yeah. or adult for that matter. Um, it's the new version of Schoolhouse Rock. So that brings us to the new films, I guess. Where, where where are you at with the J.J. Abrams, Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, Solo, mm-hmm. Rogue One? Because for me, I mean, I watched Rogue One and I thought, this movie has absolutely no reason to exist. Yeah. But then it was over and I thought about all the stuff that I really liked mm-hmm. about it. Seeing Darth Vader actually be a badass, yeah. you know, killing all those yeah. dudes in the hallway and... and, and uh, yeah, even though it's the most unnecessary, arguably Solo is, but mm-hmm. the most unnecessary movie, I think it's Disney's best. Yeah. I would say Force Awakens was, but then The Last Jedi happened and it completely tainted it. Yeah. what Force is. I don't know what Rise of the Skywalker is going to do. Like It comes mm-hmm. out in two days. Yeah. We'll see. I'm guessing J.J. is going to retcon. Maybe not retcon, but he's going to fall back on his initial ideas mm-hmm. and kind of maybe walk away from what Ryan Johnson yeah. had done. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think for me, because what was your question again? I don't know. Okay. I just rambled. <laughs> but I, I, I was, I guess I was asking what you thought of Disney's. Okay, yeah. Um, no, I, I really liked The uh, the Force Awakens, I think. Okay. I thought that was probably my favorite. Just because, <clears throat> for me personally, it was it was really cool just being able to like, just watch you know, the scroll happened like in real time mm-hmm. out of actual like movie theater. Cause I've never, yeah. I've never had that experience, you know, yeah, up I until guess that point. So the it, special editions were re-released in theaters, yeah. but I believe that was in the 
early, I think it was like 93 or 94. Yeah. And so that's that's before my time. Yeah. So I never saw yeah. anything like that before. Because I went to those with my buddy, mm-hmm. and that was cool. Yeah. And I remember he, he was a huge Star Wars nerd way more than I. I'm just more of a, you know. I casual. like Star Wars. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm more than casual, but I'm not. Yeah. I don't know the the names of all the planets and no. the creatures. But I remember nudging him constantly during the movie, like, "Is that new? Is that new?" <laughs> and and now, you know, <laughs> you look back and you're like, "Oh, that's new." <laughs> you want to yeah. go back to the old style? Yeah. Those are kind of held hostage, though. They won't right. re-release them. Yeah. Uh, Solo. Did you ever see that? Yeah, yeah. I saw Solo. I I wasn't very impressed. I what I liked about it though was I liked. Showing how Han and Chewie met—that was probably my favorite part. I didn't care. I, you didn't care for that. I don't. I didn't like any of it. I thought, mm-hmm. I thought that Harrison Ford was was Han Solo. Yeah. Some there's some characters that I truly believe the actor is the character. Yeah. They they made they brought that to life. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Lucas had written down for mm-hmm. this smuggler. You know. Yeah. I don't think it was anything near what what Harrison what Ford, brought to the table. Yeah. yeah. And. Trying to replace him with a guy that's only a few years younger than him when the initial yeah. movie hit is really it's jarring, not. and it's so I just I didn't get what I was even watching. Well, I, I think too the thing is is that they they definitely could have gone like yeah they gave him the hair kind of, but they but okay so what year did Looper come out? I don't know. Two thousand. Well, that's Ryan Johnson. Thirteen something yeah. like that. So they could have taken some sort of special effects or makeup and made him look oh, somewhat yeah, this, more like. Oh, him. absolutely. But they, they didn't even try. No, and I, I saw people online praising that Aldrich or whatever that Alan Aldrich or whatever his name was, yeah. the actor, yeah. you know, did his own thing, and he didn't try to emulate Ford. You can't do that when you're playing a character that. That's what I'm, I'm like. Why I don't want him to no, do his own thing. No, you, you can't. That's that's a character that people love. That's a character that so they may hate the movies, but they only love it for that character. Right. And right. so you can't make that character your own. That's I get it if it's a new sort of reboot or a new franchise, that mm-hmm. like of or a soft reboot of the franchise, but that's supposed to be still Harrison Ford. That's not that's not him. Had they called it anything else, if they made him a different character mm-hmm. and you know, they could I think that movie would be a lot better. Because mm-hmm. I think it is an entertaining, fun movie besides the you know, the dumb robot yeah. equal rights stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious too because uh, I think her name is L three three seven or it's Elite yeah, it's or something L three three T. She her whole goal is to like free the robot slaves, yeah. which is also kind of messed up because now I'm supposed to think that R two D two and C three PO they're they're slaves now. Yeah, I, I I don't know what they were going for there, but anyway, how does she get rewarded for saving them all? They put her into the Millennium Falcon as a prisoner of the ship. Is that what it was? Yeah, I haven't seen it since like. Yeah, that was the whole thing is they made her part of the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> even though she's never referenced in the other movies, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. AI, yeah. I wonder if Lando's going to, like, touch the ship and be like, hey, sweetie, <laughs> <laughs> in the new movie. I'm sure. Oh, it's so weird. Actually, I, I take that back. I, I also I also really liked, uh, gosh, what's his name? Don't, play, don't say Darth Maul's no, cameo. That made no, no that sense. Made zero sense, but... Uh, Imagine watching that and not knowing... That he comes back in some form in the mm-hmm. was it the cartoon the Clone Wars series. Yeah, yeah don't they like give him robot legs? Yeah, and reconstruct like, it looks like a spider monkey type thing. Like yes, spider legs. There has to be a huge swath of the audience though that has no idea yeah, that that should, that, that happens. So they're they're yeah. sitting there thinking, wasn't he dead? Didn't he get yeah. cut in half in the prequels? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe people know, but I I just couldn't believe they did that and then you'll we'll never see him again no, most no, likely no. unless jj throws him into this new one or unless he's thrown in some out to the obi-wan series that's coming out on disney plus product placement oh I'm god are they doing it yeah it's, it's is it gonna be just going back he's oh he is play, yeah so he's gonna play obi-wan i mean he was truly one of the only good things in the prequels yeah, for no, me absolutely he was he was the only one that was really trying i thought yeah but um, not to get back to what I was saying though, uh, Donald Glover, the guy that plays the young Lando, I thought he was awesome though. Yeah, he was good. He, he, was yeah. really, he was probably one of the best parts. Yeah, I still didn't need the movie. No, uh, I agree though. The Force Awakens <coughs> that that was my favorite. I really liked it. Theaters, I defended Ray up and down. You know, people were calling her Mary Sue and all that garbage, yeah. you know, crap online because she was really good at stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just saying, you know what? She's got a special connection with the Force. It's yeah. going to be explained why she knows how to fly the Millennium Falcon so well yeah. and fix the Millennium awesome. Falcon. Yeah. It's going to be explained why she doesn't need any training at all. And 
course, we, we know that it's not explained, yeah. and it just really is kind of bizarre. I still don't believe, though, that her parents are nobodies. I, I don't believe that at all. Yeah, I, I mean, I th- well, they are nobody, according to Ryan Johnson, but I bet no, JJ's going to retcon that. They, they have to, because that's not enough payoff for anybody. You know, I no, mean, and somebody's going to want answers. I'm one of them, absolutely. Well, that was but. the that was the thing that... So it's weird. I, I, I have friends that really like... Not personal friends. Yeah. Nobody I know actually <laughs> likes The Last Jedi in, yeah, yeah. in person. But yeah. people online that I that I am a, have am acquaintances with, they, yeah. they I know a few that like it a lot. Yeah. And they will always... It's almost like a trolling thing at this point. Like they release the Snyder Cut yeah. or yeah. or BVS is the greatest thing ever where they it have is. to go out of their way to just bash on people that don't like the movie. Yeah. And so they'll constantly use these the, almost straw man arguments. Like uh, they'll say, you know, uh, that we didn't like it because um, of what they did to Luke or because Ray's parents were no one was the big one they would always say. Like Ray's parents... It, you know, who cares? It doesn't matter. Well, I wouldn't have cared. Right. But the the re, the Force Awakens made it a big yeah. issue. Yeah. They brought it up multiple times. It was her entire reasoning for questioning exactly. what she was doing. Well, the, the same thing goes with Snoke, too. They made him seem like, oh, he's this big, powerful force. This right. is going to be great. In right. the third movie, he's going to be great. Right. And well, then they kill him off right away in the second. It, there, there's context around this stuff. Yeah. You know, you can't compare this to the original Palpatine. Mm-hmm. Take the prequels out of it. Pretend they yeah. didn't exist because they didn't when the original trilogy came out. Mm-hmm. Palpatine didn't show up until the third movie yeah. as the big reveal that, oh, Darth Vader's talking, has someone above him even. Yeah. Nobody cared. I didn't care as a kid. I thought it was no. cool as hell. Yeah. It's like, oh, who's this dude? Right. You know, he's mysterious. I don't know his background. I didn't know Darth Vader's background mm-hmm. outside of he used to be good and now yeah. he was he was seduced. Yeah. But Snoke is coming out of a time when the Empire has fallen and the Siths are supposedly just wiped out. Yeah. You have to give us something to go on there. <laughs> right. This isn't a Palpatine situation no. where we're, we're coming from a long time ago. There was mm-hmm. these Siths, and he's one of them. Yeah. Snow comes out of nowhere, and he's super powerful. He can yeah. he can mind manipulate from across the galaxy. It, that that's why people. That's one of many. Luke, Snoke, Ray's thing. Everything just kind of just thrown out the window well, then there, there's a there's a continuity area there too because you would think him being as powerful as he is he would be able to sense that somebody's using the force right right so he doesn't sense that somebody's using the force well they're gonna use they'll use the ar- they'll use the you arrogance know. they'll use the yeah. arrogance thing yeah, I'm where, sure, you know but, he was so confident that he wasn't paying atten- he wasn't keeping yeah, both eyes on him sure, whatever but, i i would even forgive that if if they at least gave us something to go on with this character right you know and once again maybe maybe jj is gonna make it Oh hey, Pel- you know the Snow guy was just a hmm. kind of a low-level dude, and Palpatine <laughs> was pulling the strings, Which, and you know yeah, because he is coming back. Yeah, obviously it's a bit, it's a worst kept secret in Hollywood. Right. As right. Well, right. they put it on you the trail. Yeah, they obviously gave him the laugh. So yeah. let's you know uh, some people are agreeing with you here. I I, I took some comments from YouTube um, on the community tab and raid then elf fl sorry raid then f. Raid the Netflix. Yeah. Okay. I prefer every prequel over sequel movie. To me, a good story and not destroying characters and lore is more important than a pretty movie. Okay. I don't think the prequels had good stories, but no, that's and, that, that's for. And everybody. I'm not necessarily saying either that I like the prequels more. I'm just saying back when I was younger. Oh yeah. I like yeah. them more now. Now that I know more, I like. The, sure. I, I I think Force Awakens is up there for me more more so now. Yeah. Than than it would have been, but. I mean, Force Awakens is a new it's a hope. Yeah. It's repainted. It's, yeah, it's it's prettier. It's, it's very pretty. The yeah. effect, everything about it is better than the New Hope, it, except for the you could say the story. Right. It, but you can't argue, you can't argue the the production values. No. You know the anyway, whatever. No, it, it's my generation's the New Hope. Sure, it definitely is, and I think that's also something too that like. I, I've never known like the big twist. You know, it's always mm-hmm. been oh, Darth Vader's his father. I always knew that, so I think right. that also took. I think that also took like something out of the originals for me. Oh yeah, you for know sure. Because I mean? like, yeah. oh, I always knew that. It's not, it's not a huge twist to me because I, I've just always known it. It's funny you say that because I, I showed Connor, my my uh, six year old, the original trilogy <coughs> when I was trying to decide the order to show him. Yeah. So I go, okay, we're gonna start with the original trilogy because I don't want to ruin the the yeah, I am your father thing. Yeah. And Olivia saw him a couple years before, and she didn't really care that much about mm-hmm. Star Wars. So whatever, it's fine. I've disowned her. Um, <laughs> But we get to we get to the third movie, yep. 
Return of the Jedi, and the film ends, and these are the special editions. Yeah. And so it gets to the way end of the film, where where Yoda ghost shows up, and Obi Wan ghost shows up, <laughs> and then Darth Yoda. Vader as Anakin yeah. shows up, and Connor's. Who is this guy? <laughs> and I'm just sitting here, like, th- th- rubbing my head, going, what a disaster. Yeah. What a disaster George Lucas has created by going back and retconning and redoing characters and scenes. I don't even know how to watch these movies oh, anymore. Oh, no, you, you can't. The only way to really watch them is somehow find the originals. Right. And then do it that way, which I don't even think they're actually out there, like, for purposes or anything. No, you can't. You can't no. get the The, um... I've seen in the comments recently people say the order you should do it is one, two. I'm sorry. You do, the order you should do it is four, five, and then go back to all three prequels and then watch six. The, these that movies do no not mesh too. at all. No. There's so many things that, first off, visually, they look nothing alike. No. The prequels don't feel like Star Wars. They don't look like Star Wars. They're they're their own yeah. weird version of Star they're Wars. They're something else. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Lucas's other version of Star Wars. <laughs> And once you get into four, it's just it's night and day. There's no yeah. there's no semblance of uh, cohesion between these two. Right. I think now's a good time to jump to the next segment, which is ranking these films. And I've actually taken the time to write mine down from worst to best. We can quickly talk about these movies. You can say if you agree or disagree. Awesome. It really doesn't matter to me because my <laughs> list is superior. So in worst, I put Clone Wars, one of your childhood favorites. Interesting. Put it out of the worst. Um, I remember when I came out watching a behind the scenes special feature because I watched all those back in the day because yeah. I was cool. <laughs> and George Lucas was, you know, was behind the scenes documentary. And he, he, he goes, All right, we need another action scene. Didn't have it scripted out, nothing. He just knew they needed another action scene because the 35 that were in there already wasn't enough. So he, he envisioned Anakin and Padme, terrible name. Yeah. On a conveyor belt in like a small in like a a, mel- a smelting plant, yeah. And he yeah. he vision envisioned R two D two with jetpack thrusters flying yeah. around like an idiot. For some reason, yeah. And and so he's like, okay, this is what I have in my head. So in order to film it, it was just a green screen with green blocks, and the actors were just pretending to jump over things and duck under things, and then they put everything in afterwards. And that is the perfect example of why these prequels suck so bad. There is no... There's no direction. There's no real vision outside of whatever he's coming up with on the spot, it seems like. There's no interaction for the actors. They're just like, what are we doing? We're, we're looking over here now and jumping. And, and it just comes through on the screen that it's just... They're, they're hollow films that... You know, maybe maybe his passion was in it, but he he needed handlers or people to yeah. kind of steer him in a in a more, I guess, artistic direction. That's the thing. He he's one of the most imaginative and creative people I think of all time. Oh, in the industry, absolutely. absolutely yeah. Know? But just the way I don't, that's like okay, you're a great book writer, but you're not great at translating that book to a movie. You know, what I mean, there's somebody else. Well, I mean, that's look, a at the, look at the look at the fan. No, that's it's look at the Fantastic Beast franchise. Yeah. I mean, J.K. Rowling, a great, phenomenal Absolutely. author. She she yeah. wrote one of my favorite books slash film franchises ever. Yeah. What happens when you make her a screenwriter? Exactly. You get the Fantastic Beast it's movies, same, which are you know. atrocious. Yeah. Okay, so Clone Wars, just a lot of nonsense in that movie. The love story stuff does not work it at all. Make any it's sense. bizarre. It's- it's awkward and cringy at times. It's really awkward. The, Watching him cut like the pear or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. It's weird. Uh, Padme, yeah, Padme's in like this S and M gear, yeah. well, which you, I was like, I like that. I like that the the what is that scene where they're in the Coliseum and she's yeah. chained up, and the the tiger alien like conveniently cuts her midriff yeah. and shows her stomach it's just phenomenal I, I think it's interesting too that um they decide to make anakin like her security guard yeah yeah it's yeah like, all right so he's just he's not he's a padawan here's he's not the even most a full un, here's yet. the most untrustworthy yeah. person we have to put on the mo- one of our yeah. most important figureheads yeah, yeah like, so good like she's like the president you know like oh okay well let's have this guy that has no experience nothing yeah Let's yeah no this, it makes yeah. nothing makes sense it's whatever i can't go I gotta, I gotta go back to the midriff though why did <laughs> lucas just put her in an outfit like that to begin with with he her no stomach showing in, uh return well right Maya, so I don't, I don't know did he think he was fooling someone absolutely <laughs> like look i'm not being 
you know, I'm not, I'm not being a pervert here. She accidentally got that ripped he, off. That's he was, not my fault. He was ahead of his time. He knew that the woke culture was on the rise. That's right. He, he did. Knew, he, knew, he, knew. he knew he was going to offend people. Yep. Uh, next on my list is The Phantom Menace. Uh, so we, I, we were talking before we recorded. You said that was one of your yeah, least favorite. Yeah, I said that was the worst. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I think um, I'm right there. I could I could switch Clone Wars and Phantom Menace depending on my day, but I do yeah. like Darth Maul, and I, I and I know yeah. he doesn't talk, and he's short, and he's everything you wouldn't expect to be intimidating. Still beat the hell but he's out a of Eddie badass. <laughs> he is awesome. a badass. Yeah, I forgot that actor's name, but he was it's Ray something. Ray something. Yeah. He's like notorious for being cool characters and never getting any credit. He played Snake Eyes in G.I. Joe. He played Snake Eyes in G.I. Joe. He played the Headless Horseman in um, Sleepy Hollow. Did he? Yeah, Johnny Depp did the... Yeah, he... No, Christopher Walken did the like the flashback scene. Okay. But the character without the head is Ray. Interesting. And he was Toad in X-Men. He even does, <laughs> I, a, I he even does a nod yeah. to Darth Maul when he kicks the staff up and does the pose. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, the that, that cool guy. Um, Revenge of the Sith I have is... Third from last. Third, third I, worst. I'd put the I'd put the last Jedi third worst, and then I'd throw that one up. I'd throw I'd throw that one up one. I'd, I could agree with that. I I went back and forth on this pick because I just don't like the prequels. Right. I don't like any of the characters in the prequels except for Obi Wan. I don't know who the prequel stories are about because yeah. it jumps between is it an Obi Wan story? Right. Is, is it, it an Anakin, is it Anakin story? story? Is, is, it, Pad- is it a Padme story? story? Yeah. Is it a Palpatine? It's all over yeah. the place. Yeah. And Samuel yeah, Jackson. Revenge of the Sith has some cool spectacle, yeah. but it's it's everything is just so hammered into your head. Yeah. Nothing is subtle in this film. No. That scene where uh, I don't know what Samuel Jackson's character <coughs> name is with the purple Mace lights, Windu. Mace Windu. That scene where he gets blown out of the window yeah. with Palpatine is an ugly, ugly looking scene. You don't like? I that. think that is such a horrible scene to watch. Interesting. I, I don't. Because it's it reminded me of um, X three when okay. when Jean Grey kills Professor X. Spoiler okay. for those that haven't seen X three. It's it's just so hard hitting. I like yeah. a little bit more nuance and subtlety in the scene, but because of the CG work and making yeah. them look so ugly and terrifying, I don't know. It's, it's just, I, I enjoyed that scene. I really liked. Oh well, yeah, people do like it. It just uh, it's it's it didn't work for me. Anyway, <laughs> the Last Jedi sucks. We, we've talked about this many times. I'm not going to just... I thought you liked it. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's really funny. I uh, filmed... Back when I saw it, I, I went home and filmed it right away, my reaction. And I think it's the normal sort of state that a lot of people were in after they saw it, where it's... And you can go back and watch my review on my... I think it's on my second channel, Adam Olinger. But I'm, I'm pretty... You know, I'm, I'm just kind of confused through all of it. And I think I start with, you know, I, I, I'm not really sure what to think... There were some things I liked, some things I didn't like, and this all still holds up. It, it's right. gorgeous to look at. Yeah, A gorgeous film. The soundtrack's phenomenal. I think the direction, the directing, the direction is fine. I think Ryan Johnson is a is a competent, very competent it's, director. It's more so story. The general. story yeah. is the only thing I don't like. Yeah, and I don't know how people can criticize you for not liking a story and and, and saying um, that's the other thing people apologists for the last Jedi say to people that don't like it is. Hey, it wasn't your vision. Why don't you write the Star Wars movie? Well, I will if you let me. If you let me do it, and you pay me a lot of money. I absolutely will. Yeah. And I do think I could write a better Star Wars movie than Ryan Johnson. <laughs> That's the problem. Great movies. After I watch them, I don't sit back and say I could have wrote a better movie than that. Right. I could have made a better movie than Fight Club. I could have made a better, you know, right. movie than Jurassic Park. I don't think that. No. The reason people think it about the Last Jedi is because they believe it. Right. It didn't work for a lot of people and that's just how it is right um well i think my biggest thing too is that also they were like teasing the knights of red pretty heavily oh yeah the there's a lot and of stuff so I was, I was expecting a little bit more with that just in general jj abrams you don't get anything with it he he lobbed it in there for ryan johnson he yeah. just absolutely lobbed it in there he made a safe movie across the board here you go hit a home run he brought doesn't a large majority of the star wars fans back yeah Yes, people criticized it a few days later about how right. it's a new hope again. Fine, right. that's fair. It is. It's played Who cares? It safe. Yeah. He played it safe. He, he, but visually, it looked just like the the original trilogy. It made you feel like that. You know, it made you feel like you were watching that franchise again. And then he set up these little Easter eggs, these little these little uh, to be continueds for Ryan Johnson to yeah. pick up and run with. And instead, Ryan Ryan said, "I don't like this. 
I want to do this instead. The Star Wars isn't something that you want to do like your own artistic type views and your own your own filming with. Like it's something you don't mess with Star Wars. It's just one of those things. I I don't I don't you know? I, I mean I don't know. I really don't know because I feel like that's what they've always done. It's just it's no, worked out in, in right. their favor because I think. I don't think they had any idea that Darth Vader was going to be Luke's dad initially. No, I don't think so. Well, or, or that or that Leia was going to be Luke's sister. I think that that all came yeah. down the script line later on organically. It, it makes the it makes the like makeout scene a little bit weird. It does make but it a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, and it makes Obi Wan a complete liar because he said you know he said he knew his dad and he was a good man and all that. The, and you can you can wax the words all you want, <laughs> but he 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 knew what he said. Was he a good man? <laughs> yeah, we were best friends. I, I cut off his arms and legs and <laughs> left him to die. <laughs> that is that's, so that's, that is so messed up. It's kind of cool though now that you think about it. Like just old Obi Wan, he's just yeah, I cut off Luke's dad's arms and legs. I would not. Like, I don't think I could cool. do that to my worst enemy. Oh, and these no. guys are supposed to be like, like super brothers. good yeah. friends. Yeah. And he cuts off his arms and legs. The guy's burning alive, which is one of the worst ways you can possibly yeah. die. And he just leaves. He's like, yeah. eh. he doesn't put him out of his misery. None of that. He just, you and, know. What? Why? <laughs> I was gonna say this before I forgot or I got sidetracked, like I always do. But in the Revenge of the Sith, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't yep. seen this movie in a very long time. But I, I think I've seen it twice total. Okay. I recall. The Jedi were winning when that movie ended. They had taken down Anakin. Uh, Yoda was beating the crap out of Palpatine, who fled. And then there was battles going on, but it seemed like the Jedi were somewhat winning, somewhat losing. Like, it was kind of still up in the air. So why the hell did Yoda go into hiding and say it's over? It's been been a while since I've seen him, too. But as I remember... uh, Palpatine, he didn't flee. He didn't run. He was Yoda, fu- he fu- Yoda was fought Yoda in the it. Senate, right? Right. Yeah, that's where they fought. Yeah. But Palpatine ended up winning the fight, and he did. Yoda was the one that ran into hiding. Okay, but I still don't understand why he would run and and, and hide and say, "Pack it up, we're done." I don't know. Maybe because I, I don't know. Baby Yoda. It just uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's always the answer. I don't know. He, he knew that Baby Yoda yeah, was yeah. gonna. He knew. Does, there's another. There's it's another like, hope. Crap. Yadel's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Yadel. That, that's what, is that a thing? Yeah, that, that's a thing. Look Stop up Yadel. It. No, I'd rather Yoda not. with hair. You know what I didn't put on here is the Star Wars Christmas special on my list. No, I, it's not a thing. That's not a thing. Okay. <laughs> so The Last Jedi, Revenge of the Sith. Eh, I guess the thing is, The Last Jedi still looks, sounds, kind of feels yeah. like what I wanted from a Star Wars movie, right. even though yeah. I hated the story. Absolutely yeah. hated it. Revenge of the Sith has some spectacle. I'll yeah. give you that. I think a lot of it's kind of pulpy bullshit and yeah. kind of unnecessary and looks cheesy and dated now. So I don't know. I, I guess I could swap them. I, I guess I'd prefer to watch. If I had to watch one of them again, maybe I would watch Revenge of the Sith just because okay. I really don't like... You hate Jedi that much, huh? I just don't like The Last wow. Jedi. Everybody sucks in it. I like think Finn, Poe, they're all just yeah. treated like crap in this one. I think I would watch uh, Revenge of the Sith just for fun, to be honest. That's what I mean. Yeah, I at no, least that's, enjoyed that's just, like, yeah, the schlockiness I mean, like, of I, it. I couldn't give two shits about the first like two acts. Padme don't dying care, in childbirth. And, don't care about any of that. Yeah. Just give me the last third injected into my veins. Yeah. I'm done. Where they're, where they're like yeah. swinging the swords but not actually hitting each other. Yeah. They're just like sh- puffing their chests out. Yeah. That's good stuff. Just give me that. That's all I need. And then I put uh, Solo. I guess that would be around the that'd be around the middle of this pack. Yeah. Solo, because it's such a just a mediocre movie. Okay. We already talked about it. I don't have much more to say on no. that. Force Awakens. We talked about uh, quite a length. It's well, yeah. I got to put the OG trilogy. I think above it. Well, I yeah. Just, no, I just think I'm, I have I'm to. I'm just saying that you put Force Awakens below Rogue One. Yeah, it would. I, I find that so. Interesting. The Force Awakens. I actually originally in my head. Before uh-huh. you know, months, months, and months before the Last Jedi was out, yeah. had it at my number three spot. Okay. So I had uh, Empire, New Hope, yep. Force Awakens. Okay. My, that and in fact, I could me. I could probably even put a Force Awakens above a New Hope if I if okay. I was really being generous. Yep. But I'm not. And now it's far farther down because of Return of the Jedi. Okay. Because a lot of the things that I was hoping for. You mean didn't, the Last Jedi not return? Or did you I'm sorry. I, I, I'm these titles suck yeah, so bad. Yeah. I'm getting them all confused. But yep. because of yeah, because of what yep. the last Jedi did, I can't keep Force Awakens higher up because the promises that it was alluding to didn't happen. Yeah. Um, 
And yes, yes, the people that argue the the Last Jedi isn't the movie for you. Well, you're right, it isn't. No, it's not the movie I wanted. Not my Star Wars. Not my Star Wars. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what? Like it if you want to like it. Luke dying like a bitch alone on a rock. Yes, yeah, that's stupid. great. Made a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Luke suddenly hating every other Jedi and everything. Luke leaving a hidden map so that he won't be found. Yep. Perfect. Okay, Rogue One. This one I warmed up to a lot after yeah. my, my second watching. I couldn't believe how much I actually enjoyed this movie. I, I remember seeing it in the theaters, yeah. obviously. And I, I almost was bored right away. Yeah. But the entire thing redeemed itself. <laughs> Totally you, redeemed yourself. I, yeah, no, absolutely. Just with the last scene with Darth Vader. Yeah, the, that was cool. The entire movie could have been it could have been the Last Jedi, mm-hmm. and if it would have had that scene at the end, would have been. Yeah, that brought it up just for, you, for huh? that. Just, just for that. that. But then it goes back down when yeah. Leia turns around yeah, and you see her cartoonish there, Pixar don't turn face. Around. Don't turn around. Turn. Why do around. they do that? I don't know. I, they're just, just so proud. So, they're so proud of their technology. It's not that good though. No. <laughs> the the human eye is such an amazing. Tool. Yeah. What? Did that just beep? No, I think that was me. You went bloop, bloop. Oh, was that your phone? Uh, it completely derailed me. Oh. Completely derailed The human eye is such an amazing <laughs> tool because one day... Wait, it's... So if it's oh. not blinking, is it good if it's not blinking? Because it's not blinking. It's, it's supposed to be just solid red. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it okay. Is. okay, I was just sorry. We're having sure. technical difficulties. This is the first episode. Okay, I apologize. Just checking. I remember when the PlayStation 3 came out... <laughs> And I said, this is it. It's never going to get better looking than this. <laughs> These graphics are unbeatable. This was all in my head. No. This is it. This is where we're at. Not only three years later, things are looking way better. Yeah. PS4 comes out four or five years later, blows it, out, blows it away. And now we're coming to the PS5, the Xbox One, Xbox, Xbox, yeah. Xbox XX, whatever they're calling that X, stupid X, thing. X, X, Xbox, yeah. X2, yeah. 1, 1. So that's, that's how it is with these movies. Too. <coughs> Air Force One. Yeah. You've seen that movie? Absolutely. There's, there's a scene where the Air Force One smashes into the ocean. looks like complete dog shit. Yeah. But when that hit theaters, it actually looked pretty cool. We just witnessed a real plane crash. They definitely did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they actually crashed the Air Force One for this movie. That's amazing. Those sons of bitches. It, it never really looked that good. But it looked better than it does now. Right. That is how these... Grand is a Grand Moth Tarkin. Is that his name? I the, believe the, so. the the uh, dude that works for the Empire. Something like that. Completely CG'd an yeah. actor who's dead now yeah. and revoiced him, which I don't know how that's legal in any sort of way. Yeah, I or feel like that's it's completely not. messed up in my opinion. It's legal if you give him enough for that money. That's really well cash money. <laughs> and yeah, it, it looked like a really good Pixar yeah. character. So oh. in four years, it's going to look Terrible. It looks like really good video game graphics then. Yeah, but not really good movie graphics yeah. now. I'm, I'm already. I already know that. And and you, you know, you, your brain knows it's not yeah. real either, which yeah. also you doesn't know help. Into, yeah. Anyway, that Rogue One I still liked. the 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 last third of that movie I right. think is just nonstop. Well, it builds to it. Yeah. It's got a good droid character. It's got some great. Um, you know, I don't know the names of anybody, but the blind dude, yeah, that's, he's that's awesome. one with the force. Uh, yeah. Is Fantastic. He? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think who's, who plays the droid? Alan, uh, Kirk? Alan Tydick. Tydick. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I thought it was like Kirdick. I don't know. He probably is. At something like that. Firefly guy. It's Dick. Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's awesome though. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious. He's always good. I just don't know his name. A uh, new hope at number two, as I said, there's yep. nothing that a new hope and empire. I don't. Yep. Everybody's talked about these films yeah. to death. I have no. I have absolutely no insight to bring to the table, no. other than I just rewatched them. Empire is still a beautiful looking movie. I'm not going to pretend that the effects hold up because mm-hmm. there's definitely parts that don't. But for the most part, yeah, it's a good watch. Darth Vader's beautiful. Darth Darth Vader's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hamill really coming to his own in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Let's switch gears again. Talk about The Mandalorian briefly. I am on like episode two or three. Now. That's it. Busy. Sure. <laughs> but <laughs> fine time. But from what I like, from like what I've seen though, I I, I enjoy it. Have you ever mm-hmm. heard of uh, The Lone Wolf and Cub? No. Know. So that's a graphic novel, and so it's it's basically the same thing. Oh, okay. It's basically the same thing. Outlaw type dude making his way through. Uh, like whatever it is, I've only heard like a brief summary of it, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, and he has like this this baby that he finds, and it's sure. like and they have to like navigate their way through whatever, and through all this danger, and he has to somehow keep protecting this baby and keep it alive and everything. Else, and well, I mean, there's a lot of it's, it's awesome. There's a lot of I mean the 
the the man little kid dynamic that yeah. we've seen time and time again yeah. in movies. Like Logan does that. Yeah. Um, the the Telltale Walking Dead game. I don't yeah. know if you ever played that, but that fantastic game. But you you uh, you control Lee, and there's a little girl that you're with that uh, you have to protect. So that that's nothing new. No, they even do but, that in the new God of War. Uh, Kratos has a son, and yeah. so there's that father and that 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 kid dynamic. You you, you want. Nothing to happen to this mm-hmm. thing, you know. You, you you love it with all your right. heart. You don't even yeah. know it. You yeah. Know? This baby Yoda could be an asshole for all we know. <laughs> anyway, the uh, I'm on episode. I, I'm caught up. So okay. five or six. I think it's at six. Something like that. I, I really do. I enjoy it. It's a yeah, family yeah. show. I take it. Yeah. You know, we me and me and the kids and, and Lindsay sit down and watch it every every week, and we enjoy it. There definitely isn't. I, I wouldn't say it's a show that I I, I go wow that was an incredible episode. No. I've never had that. It feels very old school TV. It yeah. reminds me of, you know, like Hercules or Xena Warrior Princess <laughs> or like or Star Trek even. Yeah. You know, they go to a planet, they save the day, they go to another planet. There's yeah. quirky characters they come across. Yeah. And I, I want to believe that. I want to believe that uh, what um, John Favre is doing is he's just world building right now. Yeah. We're getting a lot of obviously tips of the hats to the old right. series. <laughs> the old franchise, but I, I really think he's he's just li- lining up these characters to eventually come back in season two yeah. or to get more fleshed out. Well, so so my question to you though is, do you think right now it's just it's a it's a fad, it's a trend right now, or do you think it's it by the next season when season two comes out, do you think it doesn't have as much steam as it does now? I think they're they're learning with this season and they're they're going to grow it and they're going to see the audience reaction, gauge things. I yeah. do think there is going to be a more serious storyline yeah. that'll come out of this. Okay. Not that the, I mean it is a pretty serious storyline yeah, already. Like you have to he, protect this. the entire, yeah. you know, destroyed empire is coming yeah. after baby Yoda. Yeah. The thing that's that's really cool about this and I hope they I'm not sure if they're going to do it with this or if they're going to do another spin-off mm-hmm. or something, but they have the potential opportunity to expand the universe of the 30 yep. years in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Because this takes place yeah, yeah, it's... a few years after Return. Yep. Um, so we can see things that I wanted to see from the last Star Wars movie, like what happened to Finn? You know, yep. It sounds like he was, orf- or he was pulled out of his home, yeah. a regular kid, and he was brainwashed. Like a lot of others to be in the new order. Yeah, I'd love to see some of that stuff and see the new order get built up mm-hmm. you know, behind the scenes. Um, there's, there's a lot of potential here, and uh, I think that they are going to, they're going to get better and better, not worse. I'm going to say something that's going to blow your mind. I'd love to hear it. All right, so Baby Yoda. Yeah, it's not Baby Yoda. You know. No, that. Oh, I know. I okay, know. Baby Yoda is the son of Yoda and Yadel. <laughs> no, actually, that's 100% What is Yadel? Look, Yadel is the female version of the Yoda species. That is, like, she's an actual Jedi. But where is she? Is she in she, a book or in, something? She's in one of the prequels. No. In the background, yes. When really? They're, when they're sitting there, yes. Oh I'm not even kidding. It makes you very uncomfortable. It's like Yoda with, like, long brunette hair. But, uh, but how can it's that... Weird. Did she die? Is she still alive? I don't know, but there's something that... Why don't we there. see her in Return of the Jedi or Empire? I'm not the man to ask Adam. I'm, I'm just the, because in I'm order to the so they said the baby's 50 years old. Yeah. So I guess that tracks. They could have had the kid, you know, before Yoda died. Although I, I'm not sure if his uh, force is too strong downstairs. <laughs> if we catch my drift, I mean he's like a thousand, right? Yeah, thousands. Anyway, um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure. Probably, probably is the son of Yoda. <laughs> no, it definitely is. He's a force. He's super force sensitive. Unless that's just the species in general, but we don't know anything about the species. Yeah, he's hilarious. Love that cute little thing. Okay, so you got Mandalorian to watch. I'm, I'm all in on it. I don't think it's the greatest thing ever made by no. a long shot, but it is a. It's just a family fun it's show fun. to watch. It's, yeah, it's a good night. Yeah. I would like it to grow with its audience a little bit more like the Harry Potter franchise did. It starts yeah. out fun and whimsical yeah, in a yeah. matter of speaking. <laughs> even, though, even though there's killing and whatever. Yeah, no. but, but it still seems light at the end of yeah, the day. Yeah. But yeah, let's let's get a little darker as the series goes on. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm good with it. Um, I didn't really read a lot of comments yet, but I wrote a bunch down. Or I, I copied a bunch, I should say. So let's just go back and see what people thought about these films. Patrick Martin said... It's sad looking back and remembering the excitement before The Force Awakens. I binged on George's Wars and settled on Machete Order of Viewing. Do you think that means just 
erratic viewing be, order. Yeah. It yeah. was a simpler time back then. I didn't care about the retread of 4 because it was a relaunch with The Force Awakens. It felt weird not going to see Solo, but there are no feelings at all about 9. Yeah, I agree. I'm almost <laughs> hoping for it to fail spectacularly to avoid them remaking the original trilogy, but I fear the Empire is strong with the mouse. I don't think they will remake the original they, trilogy. They There's not will. a chance they're no. going to remake the original trilogy. It's probably in the contract that they can't. I would assume it, it has to be. Otherwise, I would assume you Lucas. Give it up the rights. Yeah, I don't think Lucas would have let him do that. He's still not done with the original does trilogy. Have, does he still have creative rights over it? I or? don't know. He's probably making a new version himself. Probably. He's just CGI'd all the characters. No, no, he, he's making one about the midi chlorians. Oh yeah, we love everybody loves the midi chlorians. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want it to fail. I get. I don't know. It's not gonna fail, so it's no, almost it's, like it's still gonna make all the money. It's yeah. still gonna it's do the last records. it's the last of matter. the Skywalker franchise. So people are gonna rush out and see this. It's kinda like Captain Marvel, where people are like, I want this to fail miserably because this Brie Larson just seems like the worst in interviews and the movie doesn't look good and maybe Marvel will learn that they need to just make good movies again. Yeah. And it did amazingly well because they they Stupid. put it right before Endgame. Yeah. And you knew she was in Endgame, so everybody wanted to see her in it. Well, also, too, the thing with Marvel is that you have to... It's one of those where it's like, oh, I have to go see this one to understand the next yeah, one. Yeah, right. Even though you don't necessarily. I, I just don't see but, people not going to this because they hated The Last Jedi. No. I am going to it, and I don't have any obligation to go to it. And Yeah, yeah I'm going to it as a fan just because I, I enjoy right. the series in general. Sure, they obviously have their hits and misses, but... I hate more Star Wars movies than I like by a long shot. Okay, yeah. And I mean, I'm still I think going that, to it. That's a fair opinion, though. Yeah, I, I think d- there's a lot of people out there that do. I don't I don't want to watch the prequels. I tried showing my kids the prequels, yep. and it's funny because you liked them as a kid. They couldn't even get into it. Really? Well, that's I think it's just true, order. Though. You show your kids better movies and taste than... <laughs> that's true. They do it. They're like a... <laughs> you, they get the fine wines. You, you made sure that they do. I mean, they've seen the Terminator movies. They've seen Back to the Future. They've seen a lot of stuff They already. had that chocolate and that cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia's... I mean, I can't believe she's only 10, and she's just... She watches everything. She, she doesn't care. She does better uh, reviews than I do. At this point. <laughs> I should get her into doing some reviews on a, a lighter cha- channel. <laughs> okay, here's a solo comment from Trevor Sewell. Sewell, I actually really like Solo, and it's one of my favorites. Much like the Mandalorian, it's nice to have the stakes be smaller and focus mainly only on one character. As long as you can look past it not being Harrison Ford, I can't. This is a fun movie that pulls you in to the vast galaxy of Star Wars, and that's kind of what I said yeah, earlier. Yeah, you said that. If earlier. it wasn't a Harris, if it wasn't Solo, then you're all good. I think it would have been fine. Yeah. And the the Darth Maul ending did not need yeah, to be no, that. that. Was total that. fan service. <laughs> Okay, uh, Caleb Creech, who is a YouTube Join member, I highly suggest becoming one to give me money to keep making this show. <laughs> and to support the show, it would be nice. I do this for peanuts, basically. He's not even getting paid. He's an unpaid intern. That's what he thinks. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Caleb Creech says, I'm not a fan of The Force Awakens. Oof. Okay, well, we'll keep going. We'll continue. Disgusting. It's too much of a remake to ever justify rewatching it. Even though The Last Jedi didn't get everything right. Got nothing right. Pregnant pause. (laughs) To me, it's a far better movie. Despite your feelings on both films, do you feel similarly? No. Does it feel pointless to watch The Force Awakens when the original Star Wars is a much better version of it? Kind of. Also, thoughts on the holiday (laughs) special. I think, like I said, The Force Awakens is further down on my list now because of The Last Jedi, not because it's a retread of A New Hope. There was... There is plenty of new things in The Force Awakens to consider it not a complete copy. Here, here's, here's a good example for you. And maybe it's just my personal taste, but I love Home Alone 2. It is the same movie as oh, Home Alone. Absolutely. But I still enjoy it yeah. uh, from, from front to back. You're telling me Home Alone 3 isn't the same as Home Alone? Home, Home Alone 3 is the last <laughs> Jedi of the Home Alone franchise, and that's why solo. I hate it. <laughs> it's the solo. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not Kevin McAllister. He's a different kid. Is he? Yeah, he's a different no McAllister. different family okay. that also lives in, in like Chicago. <laughs> they just happen to be in the same okay. It's a dangerous part of the part of the state. I guess. It's a country. Um what was I saying? Oh yes, also Die Hard 2. It's just Die Hard again. <laughs> a lot of these movies that have sequels stay very similar to the original playbook because yeah. it works, it's familiar. 
And you know, why mix, mix up the, the formula too much? It's almost never a good thing. I, although you have Ghostbusters 2, a lot of people don't like it. Mm. I myself think it's fine. It's all right. Yeah. So that's kind of where I sit on Force Awakens. It's a, a beautiful version of A New Hope that okay. has different characters, some different stakes, and uh, you know, some nods to the original. I think it also kind of goes with, uh, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, of course. You know, right. I, and I think also, too, one of the biggest ones that you miss with Jaws. Oh, well, I don't like any of the Jaws movies outside of the first. That's why I yeah. didn't say Jaws. Although I can watch them all and just laugh my ass off. Yeah, well, Jaws, well, Jaws, Jaws 2 is okay. Yeah. <laughs> but the end of that one, the first one has that badass saying, smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, how do we top that? And so the second one, he's like, open up, say ah. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. For those of us who are joining us at home and watching us on YouTube, uh, Chase just informed me that the U-Log background fireplace has stopped and we've been sitting on Christmas prints. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I wasn't aware that this fireplace was, was timed to only like an hour. We're going to play it again. So we're going to get some more fire crackling in the background. Okay. As I was uh, trying to say before, the... I had a final segment that was going to be on Rise of Skywalker theories and hopes, but the thing comes out in two days now. I actually tried filming this once before last week, failed spectacularly, and so I'm, I'm redoing it today. That said, how do you say that? Coos? Cuss? Coos. 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 A YouTube join member had a pretty lengthy thing on the new film, so let's, let's read this one quick. Predicting what will happen in the sequel to The Last Jedi is like trying to predict what will come after Infinity War if Thanos had died at the end. They really didn't leave the audience with much to look forward to. I fully agree. That is a great thing to state. Yeah. He, st he continues. Obviously, we have the trailers, though, so that gives us something to think about. I always like that Rey is Palpatine's granddaughter theory, and now that we know the guy is back, I'm almost looking forward to seeing what that leads to. It won't lead to that. You don't think she's the granddaughter? Here's the thing. We have all these wild theories every time a Star Wars movie ma is yeah. made, and There's it's always that... the dumbest, lowest common denominator. It's it's never anything spectacular. Did I ever tell you my favorite one? No. Uh, that Jar Jar was... Uh... Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That some, was my favorite one. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's no because of the like some out of context statement. Yeah, something where he says, from like the books. Jar Jar is the key to all of this. Is yeah. what uh, as someone who has already stated watched all the special features of those crappy <laughs> prequel movies, I can attest that that is not what he was referring to when he said Jar Jar is the key to all of this. He was talking about just the effects in general. Yeah. It was all new tech interacting with a fully CG character on screen right. wasn't something that had really been done outside of like. Who framed Roger Rabbit? But what, what that wasn't done the for? same way. What were they going for when they like created Jar Jar? Though is it <sighs> toy merchandise sales? I don't know. I think he just. It's so hard to know what Lucas's mindset was. I don't believe. I don't want to th believe that he was just looking to cash in on, on toys and things. He already <laughs> right. was a billionaire at yeah. that point. I think he just was trying to make something fun for the kids, and he swung and missed with with Jar Jar. <laughs> anyway, he continues more. A lot of people seem to dislike the idea that Rey has to be related to a Skywalker or Palpatine or anyone from the previous films, but that would be INTERESTING, all caps. At least it could help explain her unbelievable abilities beyond her being in, what is it, SFL? Strong force? Strong female lead. Oh, <laughs> look at that. He used my own, my own statement again, <laughs> against me. She doesn't have to even be related to by blood for anyone, but for her to have absolutely no history or connection to anyone in the Star Wars universe is boring to me, and I'm hoping good old JJ may change that up. I think he I will. I agree with that. I agree too. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing more Kylo. He's been the most interesting character by far in these movies for me. Hope he shows off those brick pecs again. Yes, yes. smoke show. The smoke show brick pecs. <laughs> Thick, T-H-I-C-C. C-C-K. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, this is about all I, I've got in me. My last Jedi PTSD is acting up now. I understand. We're, we're all there, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that was a little bit about uh, our thoughts on Star Wars. I think yeah. we covered everything pretty fairly, pretty well. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to sound. It might just be a complete train wreck, but we did our best. <laughs> Next, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll end with a game. I wanted to try this with you. I, I talked to you about it off, off camera, uh, off audio. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to try a, a game to end out the, the podcast when I have a guest on. Hopefully Chase can join me more in the future. Uh, it, it's a game I used to play with my buddies. It's called, we just called it the movie game. And, I, and if you've listened to my 
crappy old car podcast, which isn't available anywhere <laughs> anymore because they just got rid of them. I didn't like how they how they sounded or looked or anything. In that, I played it as well by myself. Of course. Yeah, I, I played as me, yeah. and then I played as Mickey Mouse, and I played as uh, <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> at, from BBS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, but now I don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so. What, how it works is I say an actor or a movie. Then Chase says a movie or an actor that... The, he says the opposite of me. So I, if I say Will Smith, Chase has to say a movie that Will Smith is in. Gemini Man. Right. And then I would have to, in return, say an actor from Gemini Man sans Will Smith. Now, a couple, couple rules going in. The, there has to This actor has to have been in at least three movies that went to theaters or... A high class Netflix exclusive. You know, we're, we're not tying some bottom of the barrel crap. It has to be like Six Irishman or something, you know, something people have heard of. Yeah. Second rule is that, well, it's not a, it's, it's more of a, a, a twist. If you don't know a movie or an actor that the person said, you can lie. And then I could challenge you. So you you said yeah. Gemini back to me, Gemini yeah. Man back to me. Yeah. I'm actually having a hard time thinking of anybody else in There's that movie. Nobody else. Oh, so, I know. So what I could do is I could either lie and yep. say an actor who's not in that movie in the hopes right. that I trick you, yep. or I could challenge you right now, and then you have to tell me another actor from that movie. So tread lightly. <laughs> you need to say a movie knowing yeah. in the back of your mind that you have another actor in mind for that film, because right. I could challenge you. Cool. So would you still go with Gemini Man if I picked Will Smith? Absolutely. Okay. That's good to know. I'm not going to use Will Smith for my first pick then, because I will not know anybody else in Gemini Man off the Would top you of my head. Would say Will Smith again? No. He's in there twice. No, no you I'm cannot. just no. saying. That's not the one, but I'm just no, saying. No, you general. cannot do that. I think that's that's the ground rules. It's a simple game. It's one to play play with your buddies if you're waiting in line for a movie. It passes the time very well. I'm going to let you start. Just any random actor. Any actor or movie. Let's keep it. Let's keep it simple for the for the early on, and then you can try to trip us up as we go. We want to keep it interesting. Uh, Star Wars. Hmm. I don't know. Just might as well. It makes sense. Star Wars. Let's go with. I'm gonna say. I want to say Carrie Fisher, but I don't know if you're gonna know anything else she's in. Uh, I mean, Family Guy, but other than no, that, I'll say I'll say Mark Hamill. All right. Um, let's see. I don't know if you're gonna know anything else Mark Hamill's in. I'm trying to think. Uh, he no, he played the. Uh, Cock knocker in okay. Jane Silent Bob yes. Strikes Back. Yes. Jane Stry- Silent Bob Strikes Back. There's a lot of people in that movie. Uh-huh. I, is Sean William Scott in that? Sean William Scott. No, he is not. He's in the van, isn't he? No. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Sean William Scott. American Pie. Which one? One. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. I said American Pie. I didn't say American Pie reunion. I didn't say American Wedding. <laughs> Let's go with. Oof, there's a lot of options here. I know. Do, is it just movies or is it TV shows too or just movies? Just movies. Okay. Just okay. movies. Okay. I'm going to, I want to say Jason Biggs, but I have to think of another Jason Ooh, Biggs movie. I already got it. You got one? Yeah. So I'll go with Jason Biggs then. Right. Saving Silverman. Oh, that's right. Okay. I wasn't sure if you'd seen that or not. Of course. Is that Jack Black? No. No. That's, isn't it? Isn't he the other guy in? Uh-uh. I'm not gonna say that then. I don't Saving Silverman, is that the one with where his girlfriend gets or someone gets kidnapped? Yes. Okay. Amanda Peet. I don't even know if that's her. I, I'm I saying don't, Amanda I don't Peet. Know who that is? Though. I'm saying that's Amanda. Okay. Crap. Saving Silverman. I feel like that's with Jack Black. No. Oh. Uh, I think that's his is buddy. Is he in there? No, he. Is there three buddies? Yeah, there's there's okay. I so there's two other buddies. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. It's be, this is this is not something we do. No, but I think you're right up. though. I think it is Jack Black. I think it's Jack Black and I, can't, I know the other one's Steve Zahn. Saving Silverman. I, might, I think Jack, Jack Black. Black is he mother? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Jack okay. Black to you. Kung Fu Panda. The as the voice. Okay. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. that's 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 fine. I guess. Fair play. Let's do Angelina Jolie. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Vince Vaughn. Dodgeball. Ben Stiller. Not at the museum. Battle of the Smithsonian's. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a battle at the Smithsonian? Uh, it's not, it's not like <laughs> You're out! No. Okay. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. Who's all in that? I don't, is Luke Wilson or is Owen Wilson back in that one? Yes. Okay, Owen Wilson. Marley and me. Oh God, you might have got me. No way. I never saw Marley and me because oh. I don't like stupid, yeah. schlocky crap. It, yeah. No, you got to know. Is him. Jennifer? Is it Jennifer Aniston the main yes, character? Yes, it is. Okay, Jennifer Aniston. Never mind. I don't know anybody in that one. Just go with it. Vince Vaughn again? No. I'm out. I think I I, <gasps> I I don't think I know anybody else. And just go Adam Sandler. Yeah. There you okay. Go. Uh, Happy Gilmore. I should just always go Adam Sandler if I don't know with the Jennifer Aniston. Wait a movie. second. I take that back. I'm trying to think. Shoot, I don't know anybody in that movie. Of what? What movie did you say? Happy Gilmore. I'll go with Happy Gilmore. I don't know anybody in Happy Gilmore though. For me. Wait, no, I don't. You you need to. You okay, don't need, then, well, I could challenge you if right, I don't know anybody. Happy but Gilmore, then. now that I know you don't know anybody, I'm challenging. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, Ben Stiller's in it. No, he's not. Yeah, check out the badge. Oh, <gasps> that's right. You're in my world now, oh, Grandma. Shoot. Plus, Chubbs is in it. That's yeah, um, I can't remember his name. Though. I can't either. It's Apollo Creed. I know. I it really bothers name. me that I can't think of his name right now. He's also in The Mandalorian. Yeah, because he sits there at the first episode. Yeah. Okay, go, he's in other ones too. But go ahead. So ben Stiller. Ben Stiller again. Uh, God, what's that one called? Uh, something about Mary. I wish I knew the, the blonde woman's name too from Modern Family. She's in that. Yeah. You said I, something about Mary? Yeah. Mm, God, what is his name? Well, Brett, Brett Favre's in there, but he, I don't think he's been in three movies. <laughs> no. He probably has as himself, but I'm not going to say that. The buddy, Christopher Elliott. Is that him? Yeah, Christopher Elliott. I don't know who that is. Mm. You know who Christopher Elliott is? I'm sure I do, but Christopher Elliott. So what movie was it again? It was something about Mary. Are you sure that's it? You can challenge me and we can look it up. Challenge Okay. Me. Let's look it up. Something about Mary. I mean I'm definitely wrong, but why didn't you say Cameron Diaz, the main <gasps> character? I didn't know. Oh well. Huh? Chris Elliott. Who is that? He's Cabin Boy. He's in Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, he, you... Okay. Yeah, he's in... I didn't know he was in The Abyss. Oh, crazy. So am I out then? Yeah, yeah. So you lost that first round. We can we can do one more. Let's do one more. I think so, that went pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Um, you lost, so you get to start. Okay. Um, Actor or movie? Ben Affleck. Affleck. <laughs> I guess I would go with the critically acclaimed MNV Superman, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg. Ah! <laughs> I love bringing people together. It's the greatest matchup in the history of the world. Z- Zombieland. No. Okay. Yeah, Zombieland. Okay. Two. Is there a subtitle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it called? Double tap. There you go. <laughs> I, I didn't know if you were going to wait for me to talk about it. <laughs> and then interrupt. Yeah. Uh, no. Woody Harrelson. Okay, okay, okay. The Thin Red, the thin red Line. Joking, I'm not going to say that. Well, I don't a, even know what that is. It's a boring war movie. It's got a ton of actors. Midway? <laughs> <laughs> he is in Midway. That wasn't that boring, though. No, that was okay. Um, Woody Harrelson. God, he's been in so many movies and I can't think of anything. He was just in that Netflix movie too, which I didn't see. It's like, I can't remember what it's called, but they're, he's a sheriff. I'm going to go with Midway because I, I don't want to waste time on the pod here. Uh, wait, I don't know if he's been in three movies or not. All right, Patrick Wilson. Aquaman. Jason Momoa. Just because I don't know the actress's name in The Conjuring and I like her too. <laughs> Jason Momoa. Yeah. Jason Mimosa. I don't know anything he's in outside of the crappy Batman movies. You can go back. So I guess I'll go yeah. Justice League. All right. Uh, let's see. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> my Man of Steel. Not my Superman. No, he actually he's my is. Superman. He, I like him. I like awesome. him a lot of Superman. Um, let's go with Mission Impossible... Oh. Rogue Nation? Is that it? I don't think it's Rogue Nation, is it? That's the syndicate. Because you got Mission Impossible... M2... Mission Impossible 3... Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol... Mission Impossible 5 is... This can't be Rogue Nation, is it? It's the one after Rogue Nation. Is it called Syndicate? No. 
<laughs> Fact check it. Crap. This is going to annoy me. Henry Cavill. Maybe he's in something else. He's in the Witcher franchise, but... Uh... I mean, I'll take the loss if I can't come up with no, it. No, no. It's Mission is... Impossible 3, 4, 5. It's Mission Impossible 6. No, I'm giving you a pass. Like, this isn't taking the L. Oh, this just... isn't taking no, it out? No, no. I, this gonna, is going to annoy me. It? Yeah, this is just going to annoy me until I know. Fallout. That's okay. Yeah, it it should have been called Syndicate. That would have been cool. That's a cool title. Anyway, okay, so. That's the next one you saw. Gave me a little bit of a pass there. I appreciate it. So, Fallout. Some like hardcore rule follower in the comments. That's not the rules. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't right. All right, so you follow it to you. Uh, Top Cruise. Yeah, TC. Do you see the Maverick trailer? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking Top Gun 2. I was thinking uh, The Mummy, but I can't think of this. Sophia. Oh, I, Sophia I something. It. I'm solid. I got it. I'm not going to do that, though. No. Oh, I get, yeah, I will do The Mummy. Okay. Do, is that, do you choose her or do you choose anybody? You can do anything okay. you want. Jake Johnson. I thought you'd go with Russell Crowe. No. Sure. He's been in three movies. The guy from um, New Girl. Was, don't. Yeah. Don't. Mm, don't. My bad. My bad. I'm going to use Tag. Go for it. Because I don't. I, is that's he in fine. that holiday party one? I'm going to go Tag. Okay. Tag. That's fine. Uh, Jeremy Renner. You would have got me there. I, I wouldn't have been able to say another Jake <sighs> Johnson movie. I feel like he's in a buddy cop movie. No. Jake Johnson. Well, yeah, so he is. He's in that. He's in uh, Let's Be Cops. That was the one I was thinking and of. And he, okay. he does the voice of the Schlubby Spider-Man in Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like. Yeah, he's great. What, who did you say from? Uh, Jeremy Renner. J. Ren? Who also wants to kill his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to you, Hawkeye. <laughs> Topical. You almost lost your big Disney contract. That's. Well, uh, he doesn't miss either. So if he wanted to kill her, she'd already be dead. <laughs> if I wanted it, you'd be dead already. <laughs> to tell me, do you believe you will? The there's a lot of movies, but I don't want to say one that you don't know anybody else from. So let's go with. Don't go too easy. Oh, born. I don't know anybody. From that. <laughs> Isn't it like just him, like out in the woods? Though that's the thing. I feel like Julia Stiles is in there somewhere. I don't. I was think gonna so. hit you with the Julia Stiles card. If you, I don't even know what it's called. If it's Born Ultimatum or it's Born, Born Legacy. Born like okay. See, I didn't even know the title. Yeah, I, I want to go with. Um, let's go with Civil War, Captain America: okay. Civil War. RDJ. <laughs> we're on a we're on a syllable basis or a, or a, uh. Never mind. Stupid joke. I got I got what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Sherlock Holmes. Jude Law. Okay, I was hoping I would, I would trip you up with the Jude Law card. Oh. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Johnny Depp. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Keira Knightley. God, there's ways to hurt you with this one. <laughs> There's, she's been in so many indie crap movies, like The Hole, I think one of them was called, which is a really messed up movie, but I can't tell anybody else in it. Kia Knightley. I shouldn't have gone with that. I don't know anything that she's been in. Other than those. She's been in a ton of movies, but a lot of them are like boring, she, she pulls, artsy. She does the Joaquin route. <laughs> yeah. God, you might have hurt me with this one. I can think of other movies she's in, but no. Oh! Star Wars, The Phantom Oh, Menace. that's right, because she plays She's the Pappy. stand-in! That's right, look at that. Uh, that's so sad that that's where I had to go with that. I know. I'm trying to think. What else? Alright, Ewan McGregor. Pregnant pause, Ewan McGregor. Pregnant pause. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Don't let it go. This is what they want you to do. This is how he wants you to lose. Why am I blanking on freaking Ewan McGregor movies? Son of a bitch. Why am I blanking on Ewan McGregor movies? We already talked about one of them earlier, too. Oh my god. Um Ewan McGregor. I got the dub. This is killing me. For everybody sitting and listening to this at home, I just got the dub. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Why do I not know? Ewan McGregor. He's not. <laughs> no, Jude Law's the stupid Dumbledore. That's where we just went. 
I don't know. Challenge. No way. I can't think of anything. So no, I have to tell you one. Just tell one. me a movie. That All right, Doctor Sleep. Oh my I don't know. God. Uh, let's see. I could give you. Another I know movie. he's in a bunch of movies. The Island. Yeah, the I know he's in a bunch of movies. I completely dropped the ball here. All right, we are tied. Tiebreaker. So we have a tiebreaker round. Awesome. I will shart with. Let's go with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right. Uh, ooh, I can't. I don't know anybody else has in that. We'll go T uh, two. Terminator Two Judgment Day. Yeah. Really? That's what you're going with? No, I take that back. You can go with it. It's just we'll uh, go, no. It'll be easier. We'll go with we'll go with Genesis. It's easier. Terminator Genesis? Yeah, well, okay. just to keep it going. It'll be easier. I mean, I could have kept it going with Terminator 2. I just, yeah, but uh, I don't know anything. Don't know you would have been. Other, no, that's what I'm saying. God, what is that lame dude's name in it? <laughs> oh, I guess I could do the Mother of Dragons, Khaleesi. But I'm not remembering her real name. Uh, you don't need to. She's, uh, Sarah something? Sarah Silverman. <laughs> no. Terminator Genesis? Who the hell am I supposed to know in that movie? The guy from Planet of the Apes 2? Don of the Planet of the Apes guy? Not him. You named your son after him. John Connor? Yeah. Or no, not John that's, Car- that's Ky- the, Kyle Reese. Kyle Reese? Yeah. Who plays Kyle Reese? You know that. I don't know. Yes, you do. In Terminator Genesis? Yes. The crappy ass one where yes. they... You know him. Yes, you do. I tried to forget everything about that I movie. I know. I know. I don't. I can't even picture Kyle Reese in that. Oh, it's that there shitty you guy go. from Suicide Squad. That's what I thought. I don't remember his name either. I have, I'm gonna have to think for a second. I know a lot of movies he's in, and I wonder <laughs> every time I see him how he keeps getting work. Yeah, honestly, because he's bad in every one of them. That's yeah. He's also in uh, that really bad Divergent series. Stupid. Okay, I'm trying to picture Suicide Squad's commercial. And like the, just the the vomit of different things going up with the characters, and he's got the beer. And he drinks it behind the car. I love that trailer. That was an awesome trailer. Those trailers are phenomenal. Yeah. They're all the, all the Suicide Tra- Squad trailers are great. The movies just ass. I don't know his name. I'll give you a pass. No, I want to challenge. I'm challenging you to tell me another person in Terminator Genesis. Can you bring, tell me anybody? Can I bring it back to Arnold or no? No. You don't know his name either? No, I know that guy's name. That's all you oh, have to I give can, me. I you can just tell, give me oh, his name. Jai Courtney. Jai Courtney! And you win. You win the movie game. Just like that. Look at that. Just like that. It's a fun game. I suggest you try with some people. Two is, two is a little tough. It's funner when you have a, a group because then that, the person that loses just sits out. And then they, the <laughs> others, they have to just watch and listen and get frustrated like you probably are that I can't remember Jai Courtney's name. Or the guy that's in Planet of the Apes 2. Yeah. Don of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Or what is it? What's the third one? Or War for the Planet War. of the Apes? No, there's not a war in it. Just keep getting well. You know, I love that. Yeah. I love those first two movies. And I know people really like the third one. I was not a fan of the, the first third one's one. The first one's still by far my favorite. Really? Yeah. I think the first two are just fantastic. No, I'm just saying in general, out of that trilogy, the first one okay. is by far my favorite out of okay. all three. I think I'd go with Don. Really? I love Koba. I think he's a great awesome. villain. He's awesome. Anyway, we're, we, we, this was our Star Wars thing at one point. Um, that's the movie game. I did write down, because I'm going to try to to do this weekly. So, oh, I have to note, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Adam Does Movies or my second channel, Adam Olinger, which is a little bit more salacious. There's swearing in it. YouTube doesn't like that. So I moved all my funnier stuff, I think, to my second channel that nobody watches. Um, you can join me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Adam Does Movies, or maybe it's Adam Mulliger. I think it's Adam Does Movies. There's links all over, <laughs> or you can join right on YouTube, and I appreciate it. And I think that I'm going to make this a live video, assuming this turned out at all. So it will be, you know, like pretend live. You can yeah. do, um, what do they call those? When you can schedule it out to watch with everybody. I can't remember what YouTube calls it. You're the but creator, not me. No, not really. It will. This will. We're filming this is somewhat in the in the morning. It's gonna go out tonight when you're watching it in real time. And I'm gonna try to be in the comments. You should try to be in the comments, engage with cool. people, and um, you can you can also you know give a dollar or two there. I believe uh, during that time. Next week, my topic is going to be disaster movies. Uh, it, it's a genre that's kind of gone by the wayside, but there are dozens of them. Ranging from complete trash to completely f- fantastic. 
Is there any actual like fantastic disaster movies though? Tor- uh, I think Twister is fantastic. To that disaster, yeah, I yeah it's a disaster. Movie. I suppose, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about you know anything natural disaster based. Would you say Day After Tomorrow? Day After fantastic? Tomorrow, tornado, you know, Twister. We have um, I can't think of that. Volcano, many, Dante's Peak, San Andreas, Sudden <laughs> Impact, San Andreas. There's always like a companion one too. If there's a tornado movie, there's another tornado movie. Yeah. For instance, uh, Into the Storm. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Some people really like it's it. It's like a thousand mile an it's, hour it's, wind. It's just, like, it's just bad. I'd even throw 2012 in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's a disaster it's movie. It's a disaster movie. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, there's, there's a bunch disaster of them. I'll write them down. Movie. We'll talk about them. If you're with, we'll, we'll chat about some of our favorites. We'll, we'll maybe rank them. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this organically changes. I, I wouldn't even be opposed to doing some sort of a, a movie feuds style podcast episode where we can you know debate... One, one picks one side, one picks the other. And we try it that way, even if it's just a segment of the overall show. Anyway, in the comments, put down anything related to disaster movies, and I'll try to read it off. If you are a Patreon member or a YouTube Join member, I will read it off. So, And that, that, uh, that said, I, I read all of them that submitted, so I'm glad I, I, I kept my promise. I kept my word <laughs> on that. So yeah, uh, I will make a community tab post as well. That will that will have a little bit more info on the disaster topics and and we can go from there. But uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you did, the fireplace is crackling. I'm Adam. This is Chase. Do you have anything you want to say before I? Uh, that's real birchwood, by the way. So this is Bir- birchwood edition. That is birchwood. That's that's the 4K. So j- just to let you know, in case you guys are wondering. If home. you're watching at home, that was the 4K. That that is the first 4K birchwood <laughs> stream. That's right. All right. We'll see you next time. Hopefully, our, our, we'll throw another log on the fire for you. <laughs>